lesser known things that apt can do. Because of course everyone knows apt update, apt upgrade, apt install, apt remove, apt search. But I'm talking about features that not so many of the newish users will know about. Actually, it's a couple things I didn't know about. So I guess I'm a noob too. But I want to talk about the difference between apt upgrade and apt full dash upgrade and apt dist upgrade and how to remove a package, install another package, and reinstall another package from a single command. How to resolve dependencies in much better ways than I did in the other video in the Spectre WM build that I don't want to talk about. And even edit your sources.list file from an apt command. So let's get started. So here we are on our desktop. I'm actually still using DWM. But I want to get right into the video here. And I'm sure we've all run this command before. I'm just going to scale this up so everybody can see. It is sudo apt update. And all this does, it goes out and downloads info from all your configured sources, like from your sources.list file. And it will tell you if you have any packages that can be upgraded. So if we run this, it will tell me I have 49 packages available to upgrade. So now we can actually use apt again to see what is available to upgrade. So sudo, not actually you don't have to do sudo. So apt list upgradable. And that will tell you everything that can be upgraded on the system. Now we can actually run upgrade, run sudo apt upgrade. So sudo apt upgrade. I'm not going to run upgrade just because I'm recording right now. But what the upgrade command will do it, and how it's different from the sudo apt full dash upgrade or sudo apt dis dash upgrade is the regular upgrade command will upgrade every piece of software on the system just like the other one will and it'll even download new packages to satisfy dependencies and stuff but existing packages will never be removed and you know if an if an update for a package comes in that requires the removal of an, inst of an installed package like a dependency or something the upgrade will not take place you know f well at least for that particular package whereas your apt full dash upgrade will do the same thing that the regular upgrade command will do, but this one will remove old packages in favor of new ones if it's needed to upgrade the system. Nothing is held back. So now let's talk about installing and removing packages ourselves. And we all know the commands, sudo apt install, you know, whatever. And this will just install a package from your repository. And if you wanted to, to I'm actually going to install some install something. So sudo apt install htop. Okay, htop's already there. So let's say I wanted to remove htop. sudo apt remove htop. And htop is gone. So now if I try to run htop, it's not there. There's some there's some other things that go along with that, especially things that will have a config file like OBS or GIMP or uh, Spectre WM, you know, stuff like that, that will all have config files. So your remove command will just get rid of the program, but it will still leave the config files and some packages like dependencies or whatever on the system. That's where the purge command comes in. So let's say I want to do sudo apt purge htop. So let's say you wanted to do that with Firefox because you wanted to get rid of all of the, and you want to get rid of Firefox in favor of something else. Let's, let's say you wanted to install Brave or Lord forbid Chromium uh, or Chrome. Yeah, I'm going to get some hate for that. <laughs> so now let's string some of these together. So let's say, for instance, GIMP was acting up or something, and I wanted to just reinstall it. So let's say I also wanted to install htop and 
remove ranger or something. So the way I would do that is let's say sudo apt, not pet, apt reinstall gimp. But how am I going to remove ranger if I'm already reinstalling something? That's when you do this ranger minus. And then we want to install htop, htop plus. And we're done. So now GIMP has been reinstalled, Ranger has been removed, and HTOP has been installed. So now if we if we run HTOP, you see that it's back on the system. And if we wanted to run Ranger, it's not there. And these things can be strung together in numerous ways. So you can actually run in a the remove command first and then then add some things you want to install later. And this is all done in a single line. It's just going to make things faster. That way you don't have to wait for one command to finish before you run another one. Let's get rid of some packages that we no longer need on the system. And we don't have to know exactly what they are. apt will do this for us. So if we clear the screen and run sudo apt auto remove. And what this is going to do is just get rid of orphan packages that would be on the system or whatever and things that are not used by any other programs on the system. They're just there taking up space. Another example, let's say we're building the newest version of Spectre WM like we did a while back. So instead of running apt show Spectre WM like, like we did the other day, I still didn't get all the dependencies. So what I should have run was this right here. I should have run sudo apt build depth spectre wm if i hit enter here this will install all of the dependencies that spectre wm requires for building it anyway but let's say i wanted to get all the software that is supposed to go along with spectre wm it would that would be this command sudo apt satisfy Spectre WM. If I can type, if I can type correctly, it'll work. So what this would do is actually install the the Terminus OTB Spectre WM Suckless Tools X Fonts Terminus. Yep, you know, this the stuff that it recommends for Spectre WM to be installed. I'm not going to install that right now. Now, finally, let's actually edit our sources.list file from an apt command. I thought this was super duper cool. So what you want to do is run sudo apt edit dash sources. And this will pull up in your in the editor that you choose for it to do, which I chose Vim because, well, I'm masochistic, I guess. So what you can do is actually go through and, and edit this. Let's say I wanted to upgrade to, from bullseye to unstable or whatever, or I wanted to add the contrib and non-free repos or remove whatever, or add, if, or if you're on Buster, add the backports or you know, repository or you know, stuff like that. And then just get out of that, write and quit, and then sudo apt update. And... And, we, and here we are back at, the, back at the first command that we talked about again. So that's really about all I've got for today. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show off some of the cool things that apt can do. I know I, know I probably missed a few things. So if you, if you know of other things that's really cool that apt can do, sound off in the comments down below. So yeah, let me know if, uh, if I missed anything or actually what your favorite uh, cool thing that apt can do. Just let me know in the comments. So anyway. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Like, share, and subscribe.